Sorry about the way, guys. Let's get some fucking. What do I have to get? Uh, strangle kelp. So, grim tone. We have to do this one. So this little quest chain is going to give me underwater breathing, so I'm going to do it quickly, so I can farm up me uh, strangle kelp. So it seems pretty easy, kill seven mobs, get a boat down there. I think it's just some fetch quests once you actually get in town. And what it'll actually let you do is uh, get a quest called Down in the Deeps and it'll put a buff on you. Um, to collect shit off the bottom of the, um, floor in the zone, but I'm pretty sure even once you turn it in, you still get the buff. Just in case you don't hold on to it, obviously, I'm just going to get up to the quest that you need, um, and then I'm going to start following a farming route that some guy's done a guide on wowprofessions.com for. So a bit of a fuck around, but this sort of central part of the zone is actually sort of the heartland for the strangle kelp. Um, and the beauty is, basically once you got that buff, you actually travel on the seafloor at double your normal land movement speed. So as fast as you would travel when in a, a land mount, um, or in a flying mount when traveling on the land. So not quite as good as, say, the sea mounts. Um, more the underwater mounts, but I think they're all aimed at uh, actual underwater zones. I don't know if they actually work here. I know there's one from Cataclysm that works in... Uh, what's it call it? In Varshir. I don't know about any beyond that. Granted, my... Knowledge of the expansions beyond Pandaria is actually pretty shit. So. We'll go hand this in. Get this quest done at least. And yeah, the next one I'm pretty sure is just a fetch quest. On this boat. What's up? See you around, friend. Don't be a stranger. Keep it real. What? So, oh, give go. Us some parts. On your way. Let's see, shows me a space diving helmet and clippers. And so yeah, that's it. Huh, that's really all it took. Pretty cool, huh?
Alright, so... I'm not gonna worry about the quest. What I'm gonna do... It's actually... Where's this guide? So he actually heads to about there. Just gonna be a fucking pain in the ass to swim. So might even just run along the seafloor. Because with underwater breathing, like I said, it's actually fastest. Traveling along the seafloor. It's gonna work like a highway to get around the zone. Whereas swimming is a pain in the ass. Yeah, we'll just do that. Oh fuck, wrong thing. I hope that's not a stackable. No. Well, the good part is most stackable collectible quest items you don't even see in your inventory anymore. They literally don't take up any space. It just gets counted and evaporated from inventory. It took Blizzard a little while, but they figured it out. So I'll try not to jump at all because it'll actually just engage swimming and slam me right down, which I don't want. Pretty much should just get up to where the rocks actually start and then just basically just sort of weave your way through them. Just around all these little ones here and sort of wrap around. Um, just go around the top of that spire bit there. Cut up through there. So start, we'll head around here. I also need about 50-ish, so we'll shoot for about 60 just to be be sure, and then that way I don't actually have to care at all later on about, oh, should I grab that herb when I'm trying to farm other ones? It's like, no, I'll worry about the ones I haven't actually collected at all yet. I actually don't have to do that at all, we'll just, yeah, just sort of bounce over. We'll maximize the time you spend touching the ground. But the hard part is, it's all the first time I've actually run through here. So, I'm still learning where all the best spots are. And how to not get caught on the elevation. I mean, it's either side of this big rock will be fine. That's sun grass. I don't think it's just right up there. It'd be like way up. I'll have to fucking. I'll have to have a flying mount to get the sun grass. Which is a shame because it's one I'm going to have to farm up later on. Not one at all. Stick to the ground. Be way, way faster. So we want to head. Sort of over the top of fire wind pass. Uh, so, free wind pass. And then back down around the other side of it on the way back. Like, I'm literally nearly halfway to where I need to be, like, at a minimum uh, for following the 300 Classic Alchemy Guide um, in retail. Um, but I'll probably shoot for about 55 to 60, just because it's pretty quick here and because, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to be slightly over on the amounts you actually need. I don't think I even have Earthroot at all in the guide that I'm following because it's about... Um, converting all the potions up from um, like minor health potion to health potion, uh, lesser and then full health potions, then making the mana potions. And then sort of worrying about making fucking 
oils and shit from there. Actually, no, I don't think there's really even anything about that. Uh, let's see. So I'm just tapping out quickly so I can check what this guide reckons. So, I reckon it's going under here. The big mineral deposit that you can't actually mine. Huh. across the dark cloud. Well, it's a 34. Well, that's a pretty good haul. I like looking and it jumps up by like 8 to 10. Nice. Nate's all. I haven't been through here. This is a bit weird. Looks annoyingly rocky as fuck. That might be too bad, actually. Yeah, this guide that I'm following is poor, and I'm have to, gonna have to link to it. Because I mean, it's only a minor part of getting herbalism and alchemy to 300, but I mean, it's I guess it's sort of one of the staple things to do with your professions, with any sort of twinking, I guess. Because unless you're gonna be doing your own enchanting, engineering, or jewel crafting, it's sort of the most logical thing. up so far. Where is it? So back quickly there was one more back here. It's amazing how dense these are. Are you thinking, oh it's probably such a fuck around, but no not really actually bro. Oh fuck, actually it was probably going to be coming back through here to grab this one, wasn't I? Oh, we'll do a bit of a loop around. There we are. 48. Well, I'd say 50 was what I needed, but if I can get 60, I will. So I'll just do it. Won't take me long. I'm gonna have to figure out where the fuck to get all the annoying ones. Like, I was thinking this would be a huge pain in the ass and I'd have to do some elaborate fucking eight quest chain to actually be able to do this, but no. It's basically one kill quest, um, a get transported quest, and a fetch quest. I mean, no, sorry, I uh, talked to this other guy in town quest. So it could not be easier, to be honest. I'm starting to get a little bit too far away, I don't think there's too much up at that end. It's a little bit, but it's not really worth it. To say, oh it's so cool how there's all these underwater parts, well, duh dickhead, the whole zone used to be above ground earlier. Alright, well if this is a two spawn, I'm done. I have no idea what I'm going to work on next. Or where? Alright, one spawn, we'll go one more. There we go, speed barge diving helmet finally was working. Cool. Alright, we're done. 
down.